So a man walks into a room and immediately dominates. Other men, they defer to him. He looks like he's in charge. Women, they're attracted to him. He looks high status. What's going on? Guys, this is the power of color and you can use it to your advantage because in today's video, I'm going over 10 colors, talking about the emotions that they evoke and how you can bring these colors into your wardrobe. So many men, they're scared of color. They somehow think, oh, it's going to make me less of a man. It's effeminate. Guys, that could not be further from the truth. Let's go study biology. Charles Darwin, in his book, The Scent of Man, he noted, oh, look at the male of the species. They oftentimes use color to send signals that they are ready to mate, that they are the dominant, that they are in charge, that do not mess with them. Do not touch me because I'm dangerous, I'm aggressive, I'm poisonous. But what about human beings? Well, guys, research has clearly shown that certain colors evoke a number of emotions that are subconscious. People don't even know why that they're going to defer to that individual, why they're going to trust him more, why they're attracted to that particular man. Guys, you can use this to your advantage. First up are the colors red and pink. I'm going to go ahead and group them together. In general, though, we're talking about 2% of your wardrobe. Well, let's talk about the emotions that the color red evokes. Passion. It makes a man feel more aggressive, more important, more courageous, makes him look more energetic, dominant. And research has also shown, this is based off a 2014 study out of the Journal of Psychology and Marketing, that wearing red is going to make you also more persuasive. Now, the color pink, it specifically evokes the emotions of youthfulness, of love, of romance, and of being supportive. So, how to bring red and pink into your wardrobe? The easiest place is going to be accessories, neckties, pocket squares, right here, you know, a little bit of pink. Now, you may notice there's differences in red. Oftentimes, the brighter colors are going to be more youthful. It's going to be the darker hues, which are going to be for the older, more dominant type of feeling that you want to evoke here. This one right here is a very strong red, but I'm going to say it's not as dominant as this darker color right here. Now, I think a well-dressed man, especially with a darker skin color, can bring in pink and red into his shirts as well. A pink shirt, classic. Right here, we've got a white shirt with a red stripe on it. So, from a distance, it actually gives off a little bit of a pinkish vibe. We get up close, we see the red. I've also seen it with contrast stitching on watches. Notice right here, it gives it a bit of a sporty look. I go look at the second hand, some of the complication dials. All of a sudden, I'm able to see the red in there and it really stands out. This watch, by the way, made by Vincero, the paid sponsor of today's video. They make watches. They're going to help you stand apart. They're going to grab attention. They're going to get you compliments. They're great looking watches. And this video is all about color. Look at all of the different bands. I've got four watches right here with four different colors. I could change this up. They're all interchangeable. And if you haven't been to the website for a while, you want to go check them out. They've got new designs, new looks. Right here, they've got this beautiful stainless steel. I actually met an Armourist fan the other day. He was wearing this watch right here. Absolutely loved it. Right over here, we've got the mesh strap. Guys, Vincero makes it easy for you to improve your style, to look good, to introduce color into your wardrobe, and stand apart and get compliments. Gentlemen, a two-year warranty, 30-day return policy, and free worldwide shipping. I'm linking to Vincero down in the description of this video with the best discount code you're going to find out there. Use it or lose it, guys. Awesome company. Check them out again down in the description. Next up, let's talk about the color orange. The feelings it evokes, uplifting, fun, playful, creative. And if you don't like red, you don't like pink, guys, orange is a great alternative. A very powerful color. Again, one that's only going to make up about 1% of your wardrobe unless you're a University of Texas graduate like myself. Now, that being said, do you want foundation pieces like a sports jacket being orange? The answer is no. It's too overpowering. It's a bit too much. So, where is orange going to work? Well, Orange is really 1% of a man's wardrobe, so it's going to be the accessory pieces. It's going to be the pocket squares. It's going to be possibly bringing into accent uh, stitching like I talked about. I've seen it on boots. All right, so this jacket you may not be able to see, but it's got contrast stitching right here that is orange in color. In addition, when I open up the jacket, you're going to see the bright orange inner lining, basically the piping that they've got right there. This is where I feel orange, red, and pink, where they really shine. Again, is there just a little bit of a spice that you add to a large base color. Now, let's talk about brown and brown is one of my favorite colors in a man's wardrobe. Should make up about 10% of your wardrobe and we're talking dark brown, medium brown, light brown, tan, khaki and variations of such and the emotions that it evokes are going to be an earthy type of natural feel. It's sturdy, it's comforting, it's reliable, it's rustic. In general, brown is going to be more casual. Like I said, you've got it here in the jacket but notice I've got two tones of brown. I've got the lighter and I've got the dark brown. Works well together. And guess what? 
Again, shoes, this one, suede, I could actually wear this together or I could go with this dark brown right here. Either one of these would work. I'd probably prefer this one right here. And that's what I love about brown. When it comes to trousers, when it comes to jackets, when it comes to shoes, you're going to be able to create an interchangeable wardrobe and match these pieces very easily. Next up, we've got the color green. It evokes the emotions of being grounded of stability, of being encouraging. It's one of my favorite colors. Some people love to use it as an accent piece. I actually use it as a canvas piece, a piece that I build off of. So, you're going to see a lot of my jackets, a number of my sweaters. Maybe it was my time in the Marine Corps, but I love a green sweater. Now, one of the limitations with green where brown is a lot stronger is when it comes to trousers. So, light tan, dark brown, khaki trousers are going to be more interchangeable than a pair of green trousers. However, this pair right here made out of cavalry twill, uh, it works for my wardrobe because I've got a number of blues, especially light blue shirts that I can match with it. Next up, let's talk about the color blue. Easily the most popular color in a man's wardrobe at 26%. Now, for 14% of that is going to be navy blue and indigo, 12% is going to be true blue. Now, the emotions that are evoked, let's talk about true blue. This is going to be a serene color. It's going to be trustworthy. It's going to be freeing. It's going to be wise. It's going to be inviting. Now, with dark blue and indigo, we see responsibility, honest, and loyalty. When it comes to versatility, blue easily matches with a wide variety. So, when you're going for your base pieces like your first suit, your sports jackets, your jeans, understand that blue is a very safe color to go with and to build as a base of your wardrobe. Next up, let's talk about white. Makes up 20% of a man's wardrobe. It sends the signal of being clean, of being virtuous, of being healthy. This jacket right here is an off-white. It's a bit of a cream and the reason you would use colors like this, which I'm going to go ahead and put together with white, is that it's not going to be as sterile as white because white is, again, when we think of underwear, we think of undershirts, we think of white and that's where it makes up a majority of a man's wardrobe. But also, when it comes to dress shirts. Now, where else are we going to see white popping up? I think it works great for a polo, especially during the summer, maybe a linen long sleeve shirt. The great thing about white is it's going to reflect the sunlight off. It's going to be one that actually is going to help keep the temperature down in hot weather. Next up, we've got the color black, making up 13% of the average man's wardrobe. I know for some of you guys, though, it's going to be a bit higher. For me, it makes up a very small percentage of my wardrobe. It is going to be the most formal of all the colors out there and the emotions that it's going to evoke, the emotions of power, of being an authority, of elegance. So, black belongs with black tie. Right here, this pair of shoes. This, one of the most formal pair of shoes. We've got the closed lacing system. We've got, you know, the Balmoral Oxford. This shoe right here, I could wear with black tie. I could wear with a dark suit. And for a lot of guys, shoes are where black is going to dominate. So, do I like black suits? For me, not personally. I think they're a little bit too stark of a contrast. They're not going to match a wide variety of shirts and they're so formal. They really deserve to be with black tie black dress shirts as well. I really don't think that ah, they're going to work for most men. My personal opinion is that most men overuse black. I think it should be reserved for formal occasions. Next up, the color gray at 18% practical, conservative. That's the emotion that goes across and for me, this is where this color is best used. For me, a nice overcoat jacket that is going to get dirty, that's going to get mud on it, that's where gray shines. It's a very easy color when it comes to dealing with stains. It's also a great color when it comes to matching. So, when it comes to shoes, gray is a non-color. A light gray like this can match a variety of lighter color trousers. That strength is again shown in trousers. So, when it comes to gray flannel, trousers and a variety of the different grays from medium gray to charcoal gray to light gray, you're going to find that these trousers are going to work with a wide variety of shirts and jackets in your wardrobe. Next up, we have the colors purple and lavender making up about 2% of a man's wardrobe and they have a long history with royalty. So, when we think of the color purple, we think of luxury. We also think of mystery, especially the darker purple. Now, the light, lighter purple and what we see a little bit of lavender in on this one right here, that can be a very playful, fun color. So, if in the spring you want to bring that in a dress shirt, I think it looks great. Now, let's talk about yellow and gold, making up about 1% of a man's wardrobe. The colors yellow and gold evoke a feeling of spontaneity, of being happy, of a relaxing type of feeling. I think gold is an underutilized color. It's one that's a little bit harder to bring into your wardrobe, but I think especially with the right tone as an accent piece with a pocket square, with a necktie, maybe on an accessory, it can really stand out. Okay, so now you've got the information to start using color to level up your wardrobe, but how to do this without shock and your friends. Guys, check out this video right here where I give you five tips on how to incorporate these new style tips 
into your wardrobe so that you don't get any backlash, so that no one's saying, oh, what are you doing there? Guys, this is how you're going to implement the advice I just gave you. And don't forget, if you're in the market for a great looking watch that's going to help you stand apart, that's going to get compliments and is affordable, I want you to check out Vincero. I'm linking to him down in the description. Over 10,000 five-star reviews on their website. Again, two-year warranty, free shipping worldwide, and a 30-day return policy. Guys, I'm linking to Vincero with the best discount code you're going to find. Go check them out down in the description. All right, Jen, so which one looks better? Which one should I go with? What do you, what do you think is going to match better? Definitely, definitely this one. Now, this one uses the United States Marine Corps colors. I had it made as a limited run. This one, Air Force. Now, my son wants to go to the Air Force Academy. I was a Marine, so I'm a little bit hesitant about that, but I've got to give the Air Force props because air power and at every Ford base that I would go to, uh, they always had an ice cream machine. It was crazy. I mean, we're just like the Marines always knew if there was an Air Force base, find your way onto that base because those guys, they live, they live really nice. Now those army bases, navy bases, stay away from those things, yeah, you know, but the Air Force, yeah, they're pretty cool. And I love my coast, coasties, you're pretty cool too.